One of the most difficult things in development is state management. But today we're going to look at a, a tool called your type, which has a hook called use adder, which simplifies state management. And this is probably the easiest way to get started with state management in React. In order to get started, I recommend you just clone this repository. I'll make sure to leave a link in the bio of the video, and then you can just code along if you want to. And this way you can make sure that the dependencies that you need are also the exact same as the dependencies I'm using. I use a package to JSON file that I've also used for a previous project. So there are some unused dependencies in there. But the most important thing, if you want to build it from scratch, is to have a React project that also has TypeScript included. We have built-in stuff in React to manage our state. So we have things like use state hook. So if I make a book here, const prod set prod equals use state, and I care about the the product that I have here, uh, by default I'll just make it null, and I'll use generics to say this is a product, and title by default is empty. It's really easy to just carry the the product title here and then modify the product title elsewhere. So if I make a button and the button on click modifies your product title, set product, and just make a new object here, title, something like this. Open up here, there's an almost invisible button, and now I have modified the product title. This is seemingly easy to do in React with a built-in hook called use state. But what about if we have multiple components? Well, you could have a child component and then just inject it as a prop into the child component. But what if they're not children components? What you probably end up doing is lifting up the state and then you'll end up having something like a global state container. Um, but how do you actually achieve this? One of the easiest ways to achieve this is using a library called your type. In order to get started with your type, you can just use your package manager like npm and just install it such that it is inside of package.json as a dependency. Once you have that, I already have that done, uh, so I'm not going to do that again. I'll just uh, remove all of the stuff that I have here so we have an empty component again. We'll still keep this product uh, model that I created here. And now we'll just import something called adder from the Yutsai library. You might have a default import that's going to be something other than Yutsai, uh, but just make sure it says adder from Yutsai right here. And uh, then I'll make something here. This is going to be in the same file, so it's easier to just keep an overview of. But this could be written anywhere, preferably in its own file. Export const uh, product form atom equals atom. And uh, here you can just use generics to put the product model in here. Uh, we can give it a default value, so we can say title uh, equals an empty string, for instance. And now let's say we have two different components. So I'll make a function down here, x4 function other components. So the concept here is that the app component here is going to be responsible for creating a form and then it's going to be writing to the add-on. And then the other component here is just going to be responsible for displaying what's inside of the add-on. So the two different components, they will care about state and the state will be in sync. No matter how many components you have and whatever the components are doing, they care about the same single source of truth for data. So inside of this app component here, we'll make a hook. So just like with the use state, now we're just going to write use add -on. So I'll write the prod form here and set prod form. Uh, use atom and then just take the name of the atom here. So if you have this in a different file, you'll just be importing it up here, just like with uh, your stuff from node modules. And uh, down here, I'll do the same thing. Const prod form set prod form. You won't actually be using the set prod form here, but you know, doesn't matter if we have an unused variable. Use atom, 
Broad form adder. And I'll just return a, a fragment here. And then I'll just write a JSON stringify broad form. So this is just displaying the value as it is currently. So here we'll just create an input field and uh, we will use on change to loop for the inputs that we put into the input field. So our IDE is telling us here that we can use something called event. Uh, and uh, you can create a function out here. I'll just create a scope down here. And now I'll use the uh, set broad form. And uh, now I'll just make a whatever object that we currently have a duplicate of that. So prod form and then change the title to uh, whatever event um, value we currently have. So this is something that isn't too different from using use state. Currently the IDE is telling us that this is an unused function. Uh, you don't have to have this as a child component, but you can make it a child component. So if you add it in here, uh, this will just be printed out first and then the rest of the app component contents is just after the other component here. And if you open up uh, the application here, you'll see that this component state will be in sync with whatever is happening right here. So in this instance, we're using it for one simple thing, and that is managing the state of a singular form. The problem we have here is one of the biggest problems of programming. And that is, you have one component here that is attempting to read from somewhere and then you have another component that is attempting to write. So they, they care about the same data. So how do you transport data? In this instance, we're saying the data can be global and all of the components, they just need a way to access the data and write to the data. And the way they are doing it is using the use atom hook and the use atom hook points to an atom that we defined elsewhere. 